Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, my name is Angel Marino, but you can call me, let's say it together. Okay. Mac, Mac Daddy. Daddy. Wow. <laughs> Today is extra special. Clearly we're not in my traditional studio. We're in a beautiful home. My home? Ashley's we home. We can pretend. I decided I'm moving in, by the way. <laughs> We're literally gonna move in, I'm not joking. Uh, but today I'm with a very special guest, the one, the only, the beautiful supermodel of the world, Miss Ashley Graham. And hey. I am so excited because today we are gonna be taking a first look at something extra special Ashley has been working on with Revlon. And I'm so excited to play, get my hands on it. Should we show them? The lip kits. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So this is your Never Enough lip kit. And as we slide down, slide her down. we've got our Worship lip kit. These are The Worship is, is what it's called, the, okay. the name. And so you can buy this. It's $19.99. Which I gagged. Oh, there goes the lip kit. See, it's easy to get out. A lot of is. these are hard to get out. Yes. You get the lip liner. Yes. You get the lipstick and the lip gloss. Which, by the way, you guys, for $19, I kind of gagged because I was just kind of like looking at this kit and I'm like, oh, like how much is this kit? And they told me and I literally was like, wait, what? Like, how is that even possible? I know. Um, but one of the things that I really love the most that I have to tell you is I love this packaging. Isn't it so cute? No, I love the glitter texture and it's not that like no shape to other brands that like gritty, like cheap glitter. No, like this is flat. like smooth. Do you see that right there? Yes. Signature, She's got your little signature honey. on her. Signatures. Yes. So what was the inspiration behind this packaging? <laughs> well, for me, everything that I preach and I talk about is about being bold and living boldly mm -hmm. and being comfortable in your own skin. And wearing a red bright lip is about being bold. Right. And I wanted her at home or him. Or him. Hello. To feel bold and to feel powerful in the color that they're wearing. So I love that. hence the bright red. Yes. I think red is so classic too. You it know what is. I mean? It's like you can never go wrong with the red lip and everyone, no matter who you are, your skin tone, your complexion, your age, whoever Always. you are, everyone needs a good yes. red lip. And I have to say this color, when I have put it on like my friends that mm -hmm. are a little bit more olive, it shows up a little bit brighter red and on me, it has a bit of a pinkier red. Mm -hmm. So it really is so different on everybody. I'm excited to play. <gasps> I'm excited. Are you gonna put it on me? I'm gonna put it on you. <laughs> how, how can Nobody's I Nobody's put it on me yet. I'm so excited. He's the first. This is the exclusive. I'm really excited. First of all, just disclosure, in case you don't know, it's actually really difficult to apply. To put on a red lip. A red lip. It really is. So bear with me here. Okay. By the way, you guys, she has the most beautiful lips. Oh. Like, gorgeous. I haven't bought them. Oh my god, I did. <laughs> That's I okay. Mine. Hey, everybody's got their thing. Listen, <laughs> you don't got it, you can just buy it. Sis. Exactly! <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Okay. Um, let's do the lip liner first. Okay. So this is one of my tips, you guys, for applying lip liner. So I always find, especially with liners like this that are kind of just like automatic, you wanna warm them up on the back of your hand first because sometimes, because they're in the packaging for so long, they tend to get a little bit dry at the tip and the worst thing you could ever do is have that like, pulling and tugging yeah. on the lips because you're just not gonna get that precision that you want, you know? It has to be she needs precise. to be crisp. Mm. Crisp, crisp, clean, perfect. So I'm just gonna warm her up in the back of my hand first. You guys, I'm like shaking right now because I'm gonna do <laughs> Ashley's lips. Okay. Oh please, who Here does Chanel and Mon all first the time? Of all. Hey Chanel, girl. Hey, girl. Um, okay, let's do this. Okay. okay, so one of my tricks for applying liner perfectly, I find that like liner is the most difficult when applying the lip. So I kind of like to just like draw a little like line almost if you will, like to really identify the center of the lips to just kind of help me balance mm -hmm. the lips because the worst is oh, a no. wonky lip sis. Because Eyebrows can be twins yes, or sisters, sisters. But, but not the lip. The lip, she needs to be like. <laughs> she's a unified yes, unit. Yes, she's a unit. She's, yes. she's one whole piece, <laughs> you guys. Okay, so here we go. I feel like this is gonna be so hard to do without us laughing. I know, I know. Okay, okay. don't look at me in my eyes. I'm not, I'm gonna I close my like eyes. I feel like she's like I'm gonna smizing my in my soul, <laughs> and I'm getting really nervous about it. So okay. let's just okay. dim. Okay, I'm gonna look down. <laughs> okay, literally your lips are perfect. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't. Wait, Wait now that my on your cheek. Okay, this is already going haywire, you guys. You literally scared me. Oh, oh that's nothing. She's what like, it's Glenda. blush now. Yeah. See, you guys, multi-use, honey. You yes. can apply her on the cheek as blush. There we go, there we there go. go. There you go, there you go. Are you gonna yell again? No, I only okay. did it once to get it out of you. There we go. So I'm gonna do, I'm nervous. I'm gonna do a little line down the center of her lippy lip. 
And if you guys kind of want to make it extra perfect, something that I like to do is I kind of go based off of the bridge of the nose. Like if there was like an invisible line from here straight down, that's kind of where we want to place that product so that it's like right, right smack dab center. And she has the most amazing Cupid's bow. Hmm. Do you hear that a lot from makeup no, artists and your makeup? Don't. Really? I need to hear it more often. I mean, she has artists. like, right. <laughs> you literally have the most amazing lips and your cheekbones too. I would like, ooh, ooh. ooh. You know what I mean? Just like get in there. So I'm just like to start with like one side at a time. And literally the best way to do this, you guys, is literally light sweeps. Just like light sweeps and strokes. I'm gonna be very impressed with myself if I just like nail it like first time. I think you are. I think you got this. Why does that look actually really cool though? Just like that. Is this like? Is this a new trend? Like are we the, starting a new Met? trend? Like, is this like for the matte lip? It is. It's giving me like you know like graphic liner, like graphic lined mm, lips. Mm. We should start our own trend. Okay, done. So now we're just gonna do the bottom. And this liner, you guys, just glides so smoothly as you guys can see which is great. We don't want any liners that are tugging and pulling. No. She's just not the T at all. So what I like to do, just a little trick, I actually, open your mouth a little bit. I actually like to kind of like tug in here a little bit just to kind of get this a little bit more precise so that we can just really get in there with the liner. Just like this. Would you die if I'm like done and then you're like literally like clown lips? Oh my God, I would love it. <laughs> I would never do that to you. <laughs> okay. I always find the corners are hard. The corners are hard. Right? Yeah. But you're, we're good. Okay, yeah, okay. We're, we're solid. All right, so now that we got the liner more where we want it, I'm just gonna start to shade in. You gotta like step back, you I know. know what I mean? And like look at her, see what she's giving us, okay. So again, I'm just kind of shading on the inner corners of the mouth just to kind of give her a little bit more dimension and really just like bring everything together. Cool. So that the hard part's over. I know, I can stop shaking. Right? I always feel like the liner is the hardest part. The liner is the hardest part. So we're gonna do the lipstick now. Okay. In your dreams. Yes. Love. Here we go. So pretty. Warm it up. How'd you know I was gonna warm it up, sis? Because I was listening to you and you said that if it's in the package for a very long time, it needs to be warmed up on the back of the hand. She cares. <laughs> she really does. I'm gonna go in with a brush though because I want to make sure that this application is super precise. Yes. I love how creamy this is. It is, it's super hydrating on is your Is there a lips. reason why you were like, hey, let's do creamy and not like a matte? Yeah, I, I prefer creamy because I always like my lips to feel moisturized. And feel juicy and look juicy. A hundred percent. And sometimes matte, like you get that weird line on the inside of your lips or it gets crusty on the inside. It's just... I call it butthole lip. Yes, and I don't like that. No, she's oh. not the tea. So I'm literally just gonna, ooh, you guys, it literally just glides on like butter. Open. And I noticed that the lip looks slightly more pink, but I like the contrast from like mm -hmm. the red from the liner mm -hmm. to like a little bit of the pink in the lipstick. You could do an ombre lip. Yes. This looks so pretty. She's ready for the red carpet. Gonna add a little more. <laughs> Trying it out. This hair is amazing, by the way. Thank you. I feel like Britney Spears. It is. Oh my God. Oops, right? I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Okay, so. Well, let me ask you. I'm going to ask you two questions. Okay. Have you ever had a makeup artist totally like butcher your makeup? Oh, a hundred thousand percent. Like, and multiple. What do, you say, like, do you say like, hey, no, so, you butchered my makeup? So before, you know, I was in magazines and mm -hmm. on television, mm -hmm. I paid all my dues as a catalog model. Okay. And the one thing about catalog modeling is that they either put way too much makeup on you or they don't give you any makeup. Got it. So I would always say if it was like a really bad makeup, I would say, can I have a Q-tip? Oh, thank you. And I would act like I just needed it for like my ears or something. Mm -hmm. 
go to the bathroom, lick that thing, and just t start taking away. No. And then like taking water on my hands and going like this and like dabbing it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you put moisturizer mm -hmm. on and like trying to just get a little bit of it off. Yeah. And I would come out of the bathroom, I'd get on set and they'd be like, gosh, I did such a good job on your makeup. And I'm thinking, that's because I fixed everything oh, in the bathroom Oh my God, I actually had one horrible experience on the red carpet with Chanel, actually. Really? I'm sorry, Chanel, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. And you know what it was, though, is I was trying a product that I had never used before. Oh. And it gave us major flashback. It was for the Cannes Film Festival, and oh, I literally no. was mortified. I literally was, what like, I burst into tears. No, what happened? It was, it was her under eye powder. Oh. And it was something that I hadn't used before, and I, I should have known better, and it had major flashback. And you know, after carpets, like, you know, we're all yep. online searching on yep. Getty or like, yep. where are these images, where are these images? And I saw them and my heart dropped and I literally started crying. And I literally was like, she's never gonna book me again. Right, right. And if that would have happened, we would have never met. I know, I know. I know. Oh, oh. I know. Thank you, Chanel, for Thanks, Chanel, for keeping again. me. <laughs> okay, so I think we're almost done with this lip. I feel really good about it. Um, so what I'm doing, you guys, I'm kind of pressing the color into the lip just to really, really saturate it and just get it nice and juicy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to do the gloss on you. Yeah, let's Can we do, do the it. gloss? But I, I'm, I'm only going to do... A long way. I'm only going to do the gloss like right in the center of the lips just to mm. give her a nice little juicy, a little juicy pout moment. Just a little bit. Ooh, this mm. is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it literally looks like candy paint. Mm, candy. And you guys will see that like, if you look at her lips, the texture in the center is a lot more glossy and juicy, and the inner and outer is a little bit more just like toned down, so it just really makes her lips look a little bit more pouty, if you will, you know what I mean? <gasps> did I pass the test? You did a good Am job. Am I hired? Mm, I love it. I think you did a great job. Yes. That Your perfect. lips look amazing. Yeah, it looks so good. I'm obsessed. And this has like a little bit of like a pink pearl in it. I know, it's so funny. This it's, is beautiful. It really makes like the gloss even shinier <clears throat> because of that little bit of glitter. Yeah. And that's really cool because the pearls like they reflect light so it's just gonna make your lips look even mm. juicier, Ooh. which we love. We love mm. a good juicy lip moment. Mm. All right, so now that Ashley's lips are done, I want to play a little game. If you're up for the challenge, Always a little game challenge. of kiss and tell, because I want you to spill some tea. Okay, I'm okay. ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So before, prior to my arrival, <laughs> I decided, you know, like I told you guys earlier, I have some <laughs> questions for her, and I put them in this bowl. This is dedication. Okay, this is dedication. Yes. It, it took me a whole thirty minutes <laughs> 30 to think minutes. of these questions. Okay, a okay. whole thirty. Are you picking them? Or you're gonna I? pick them. And then you're reading it. And I'm, I'm reading, reading them, okay. and then you're spilling the tea. Okay. 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 Kiss okay. and tell. Okay. Okay. Should right. I go? First we one. Put it down? Here we go. Okay. First go. one. So, <laughs> what is the best tip you've learned from a professional makeup artist when it comes to applying your lipstick? So, Katie Jane Hughes, who I use. We in love New York. Katie Jane. Love you, Katie Jane. She taught me how to blend my lip out to make my lips look even bigger with the lip liner so uh -huh. you take like kind of like a blended brush like this uh -huh. and you do the lip liner and then you kind of blend it out like you like make it soften fuzzy. her like yeah fuzzy? on the outside and then it kind of just like pulls your lips out a bit so you don't have a hard line mm. around it it's i've never tried that it's hard if you think about it it's easy when you do it got it yes got and it, it's got it i think it's easier to do it with like more na like lip colors like mm -hmm. yours i've never tried it with I'm a, wearing red. a chapstick no you're not i'm just kidding I'm I was like, my I'm like, God! I'm, I'm, I'm wearing tinted moisturizer that. and chapstick. What are you talking about? <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the best lip. Um, the lip. Uh, I'm gonna have to try that next time. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I've never heard of that, so that's lip that's, that's a good one. That's Thanks, a good Katie. one. All okay, right, ready? More destiny questions. Here we go. We're fancy here. Yeah, we are. Jeez, Louise. lines, thin lines. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh. I'm excited for this one. Okay. And I want like the juice. Okay, okay, okay. Not okay. surfacey. Oh, I want juice, juice. Shit. Okay. Okay. What is the worst date you've ever been on? Oh my god. And I know she's married. Yes, I'm married, but she's I do have married. a past. <laughs> ah! We all have a past. Oh my god. Um. The worst. I, like the worst. I. I like yikes. you wanted to literally like some UFO. Please come and be me. 
there from has the been Earth. I it's so funny because once you've been married, mm -hmm. I've been married for eight and a half years now. Mm -hmm. It's like you start to forget the bad because yeah. you have such good. But I remember Goals. yes. Goals. <laughs> it's out there. Meanwhile, I can't even get a text back. Oh it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, but I do remember that quintessential, quintessential one time, the guy forgetting his wallet. And so I didn't do the whole like, oh, don't worry, I'll pay for you. I just got up and was like, oh, okay. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then I just bounced. No. Yes, because I was like, I'm not going to date another broke dude. Like, we've all dated broke people before. Yes. And it was just like, you know what? This <clears> is not <throat> the life that like I'm really looking mm -hmm. for right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Wait, okay. But at this point, was it dinner? It was dinner. Was food on the table? No, the bill was there. I don't know what he did. I have no idea. I never heard you from him savage. again. You are savage. He never called you me. You are savage. He never called me. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. That's so we a both shaded each other because yeah, I'm yeah. sure he had to call like an SOS for a friend or something. I feel like so one of my really horrible dates, I was on a date with this guy one time and literally all he did the entire time was talk about himself. See, that's also bad. But And that... I literally was sitting there like, mm -hmm. are you going to ask me a question? Mm -hmm. Literally the entire time, like, Talks about himself, I want to leave so bad. If you are I'm on a nice. date, don't ask questions about yourself. Ask questions mm -hmm. about the person in front of you. And don't forget your wallet. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, next question, next question. Okay, next okay, question. Right. Here, boom, this okay, one. here we go. Let's let you, let's see. Ooh, okay, so this one's kind of like really, really, really a juicy one because I need you to spill the tea. What is your biggest fitness tip? Okay, biggest fitness tip. Because you tip. are snatched. I mean, and I see you all the, the time. The thing is, I am not as consistent as I wish I was. And I think people think I'm always at the gym just because I'll put certain workouts mm -hmm. out or whatever. I just go whenever I want. If I'm home for a mm -hmm. week or if I'm in LA for a week, I will try to go. I can't believe you don't work out every single day. No. Ugh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, how do you, I get this question all the time, so I okay. was like, let me ask her, because I feel like, you know, okay. okay. How do you stay motivated to work out and live a healthy lifestyle? Oh, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do, you have to. Is it because you're a supermodel, like, that's why? Well, like, I am, know? like, I am half naked all the time, uh -huh. so it's kind of like, okay, well, you know, like, Do you watch what you eat or no? If you say Today no, I'm gonna be so mad. No, 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 no. Today I'm watching what I eat. Okay. Okay. So okay. there are moments where I like I will gorge on pasta, and oh. there will be gluten, and there will be cheese, and it's a thing. And then my stomach, like, um. I, I definitely have a gluten sensitivity mm -hmm. and a dairy sensitivity. Yeah. Now. On the days where I'm watching myself, mm -hmm. I try, and then I have this problem where it's called the deserving issue, and I've called it that. I don't know if that's just like, you know, a doctor never told me this or anything, so, I mean, if you want to call it deserving issue too, go for it. Um, what is this issue? I will eat so clean uh -huh. all week, I will work out every day for a week, and then come the weekend, I eat whatever Ooh. the hell I want. But the problem is, it's like, Ashley, you deserve this Got because... it. So it's like a psychological thing. Oh my God. But I don't deserve to like gorge on yeah. fries and yeah. you know all that crap. That so but it just tastes so mm -hmm. damn good. I'm really, literally, like I think I need hypnose therapy because I literally am trying to get myself to this place where I don't look at food as like this is good, it tastes good, like I'm enjoying it. I'm literally trying For to get fuel. myself to like look at food as like I need this to survive. But there is hypnotism. Like I know. I had a friend I've heard. get hypnotized to not eat sugar. Yeah. She looks at my it. My friend just did that. She looks at it. She's like, mm, this looks good, and she'll put it in her mouth. She'll be like, ugh, that's disgusting. Oh my god. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I in saw my life. something on Instagram the other day where this guy. I was eating a salad, but he had a cheeseburger, and he was smelling the cheeseburger and then eating the salad. Because I guess in in your mind it makes you feel like you're that's eating a weird. cheeseburger. No, I'm gonna try it though. No, here, you no, never know. That's it weird. Can work. Smell a cheeseburger, eat a salad. Maybe. Next question: When was the first time you ever wore makeup? Or what oh. you can remember the first time you ever wore makeup? I remember. No, like I remember the first time I ever <clears throat> giving myself a full beat was uh -huh. sixth grade. I'm talking like foundation, mascara, okay. lipstick. She was going for it. Oh yeah, bronzer, br uh, blush, the whole nine. We didn't have highlighter yet. Okay. But it wasn't um, a thing yet. It wasn't a thing mm -hmm. yet. Um, but yeah, sixth grade, my mom let me start using makeup really mm -hmm. young. Wow. I know. I'm trying to think when my first time was. was I like, think I was like 14. 14? Yeah. So I think when you're in sixth grade, what are you like, 11, 10, 11? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Thanks, mom. <laughs> okay. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, I like this one. If you weren't a supermodel, what would you be doing? And you can't say any of the things that you actually do, like 
write a book or like well, designer. Well, this like, is what I want to say. Okay. Because this is a question I get asked all the okay. time. And it's more so like, I didn't choose modeling, modeling chose me. Mm -hmm. So what are all the things that I wouldn't be able to do right. if it weren't for modeling? Mm -hmm. And modeling has just given me this whole stepping stone yeah. into being an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. into being, um, being a, a boss. Hello, a role model for young girls yeah. and being able to go into um, so many different organizations and talk about body activism and confidence and loving who you mm -hmm. are. So. I don't know. I think that probably I would have done some kind of athletic. I played sports mm -hmm. like volleyball, soccer, basketball. Mm -hmm. And I think if my mom and dad would just push me a little bit harder, I could have been in WNBA. I literally tell my mom all the time, like, mom, why did you not make me like play sports when I was little? <laughs> so that like now I would be snatched and super flexible. <laughs> um, I literally tell her like, you were the demise of my body. You never put me in sports. All you did was cook. Um, but hey, we're getting it together now. Oh my okay, God, mommy. let's see. Oh, okay, what is the first? I'm acting like I don't know what is these questions. <laughs> he wrote the question. I wrote them. Ooh, this is a good <clears throat> one. This is a good one. Oh my God, I'm so good. Um, first makeup product you ever owned. Foundation. I don't know why, but foundation was something, I had perfect skin, yeah. but still my mom was like, oh yeah, she didn't care. Mascara uh -huh. also. I love that your mom was so like supportive of like so the open. makeup. Oh yeah, she let me wear whatever I, I want. Love that. She let me do my hair however I wanted. I she didn't that. let me dye it though. I've never dyed okay. my hair. If you've ever, ever seen- Ever in life? No, if you've ever seen me with lighter uh -huh. hair or darker hair, it's, it's because a it's a clip-in. Or, or it's a wig. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I know. I know. Go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Spilling the tea with Mr. Mac Daddy. What is your best beauty hack? <gasps> and I know you have a lot. Beauty hacks. Best beauty hacks. Okay, hack well, everything ever. is about the skin, right? Yes. So if the skin is like nice and flawless and mm -hmm. smooth, then everything else is kind of perfect. So I take care of it like crazy. It doesn't matter how many substances I've had, mm -hmm. I will wash my face at night and I will overhydrate. Okay. I don't think that you can overhydrate. I no, really don't. That's not. A thing. Um, oxygen facials twice a month. Ooh. Yeah. I get them like once a month. Okay. But maybe I need to step it up. <laughs> because of you, ah! I'm gonna do twice a month now. Um, and which, by the way, e. you guys, her skin is like there's like what pores this? What pores? What pores? What pores? Um, but yeah, You're, she can't even spell pores. I don't know. What is that? <laughs> I don't know her. <laughs> but yeah, oxygen facials. Oxygen facials. Got mm. it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I actually really want to know this one. What was the first job you? ever had. Okay, so the first job I ever, 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 ever had. Ever in life, where you actually got paid to like do something. It was a modeling job. However, it was 12 years old. I okay. started modeling. I got paid $300 for the hour. Um, so I was Dang. like, yeah! Did, did that seem like so much money so back then? Are you then? kidding me? Yes, I had to come with my own hair and makeup done, the whole thing. However, when I turned 16, mm -hmm. my mom and dad wanted me to know what it was like to, to make minimum wage right. so that I would appreciate where I come from. I love that. So I got paid $5.25 and I worked at this really great restaurant called Breda. It's kind of like a Panera if you've mm -hmm. ever been. And it's, you know, you get the disc, you sit down, it mm -hmm. buzzes, you come up. So I was the drive through girl and I would always wear these big bedazzled earrings with my like I ugly love. Breda hat and my ugly Breda <laughs> uniform, but like always the earrings. And I'd be like, hi, welcome to Breda. Hello, welcome to Breda. Oh, Hello, how are you doing? God. Welcome to Breda. Listen, like, if, <laughs> if I heard that voice and then pulled up and saw you, I would probably be like, what in the exorcist is going on right <laughs> now? Like, what is really happening right now in life? It was so much fun. I did it for a year. It I feel great. like we need to do like a part two installment of this video where we actually go and work at a drive through for the day. Yes. Oh my God. I would love that. But we give everybody lip kits. Yes. Instead of burgers. Yes. Love? Yes. Yes. Can make yes. that happen? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Next question. Boom. <clears throat> oh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Okay. So if you had to pick between highlighting and contouring. Okay. Or lashes and brows. You can only do one or the other. Okay. Which would you pick and why? Lashes and brows. Because, really? Yes, a thousand percent. Well, because you're already I'm all snatched. About the eyes. Right. You're already snatched. See, for <gasps> me, she's like, you're right. For me, I have a round face, so I feel like if I do not contour these Wait, cheeks, sis. But look at these lashes and brows. Do you feel like you would be the same man without that? Yes. Really? Yeah, because my brows are sickening, honestly. And I've been letting them grow, so I feel really good with no product in them. And then my lashes, I'm uh, for me, it's like literally like chisel these cheeks, make me look like. So for you know? me, I will walk out of the house with just lashes and brows and a little contour. Or no, a little concealer, not contour. 
Goals. So it's like I'm Goals. kind of already choosing it sometimes. I mean, you are. <sighs> Supermodel. Supermodel. Okay, we got two more questions, guys. P.S. You don't need any of it, but you look great with all of it. <laughs> Actually, thank you. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> Okay, ooh, okay. So we kind of talked about this a little bit more, but maybe give us a little bit more. Okay, okay. What was the inspiration behind this lip kit? This lip kit was inspired by you all at home because I want you to feel confident. I want you to feel sexy. I want you to feel empowered. Red truly is that mm -hmm. for me. It's bold. And I feel like when you wear it, you feel bold, <clears throat> you feel brilliant, you feel beautiful. Yeah. And those are my affirmations. So when you put this on, I want you to think about what your affirmations are and how you want to worship your own self. It's about I'm, you. I'm ready to put on this red lipstick. I yes! Am. It's so cute. And you know, I like you? don't ever really wear a lot of color. Like I'm more like yeah, I love nudes. You're neutral. But just the way that you just broke that down, I'm mm. like, girl, give me the lip now. Mm. This feels good. Mm. Now I know what it feels. Mm. Do it on the top now. Mm. Mm. Wait, maybe you should apply mine now. Okay, okay. Let me... A little switcheroo here. Oh my god, I'm so bad about putting makeup on. It's so hard. Oh my god, this is so hard. Mm. Juice it up, sis. Your lips are so juicy. Thank you. You could be a makeup artist. Are you sure? Uh huh. Oh yeah, good. <gasps> good? It's so pinky on you. I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see. Ooh. See, yeah. I like just that I can just wear the gloss by itself because yeah. then it doesn't feel so like red red, but it's still like a nice like. It's really pretty on like you. Like someone's been like biting my lips. It does look you know like what I mean? that. Like you've had a nice fun night. Maybe wow. I will tonight. Woo! Now that I got the gloss on. All right, last question guys. Last one, last one, last one, last one. Okay, glossy lips or matte lips? Glossy, hello. Glossy. Glossy for the win! Yay! <laughs> I'm so glad we got to do this. Thank you were such a good sport. Thank you. I love this lip. I think this looks amazing on Thank you. you. I'm so excited for this lip kit. Ashley, you guys, is just so amazing. I Thank literally you. look up to you and everything that you stand so for sweet. because I know that that's something that I really like to share with my followers and my subscribers. Like, it's all about, like, truly loving yourself mm -hmm. and body positivity and just being, you know, just confident in your own skin. And I look at you and you're totally like that for me. <laughs> so I'm so glad that we got to do this. Shout out to Revlon for making it happen. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Love you. So before you guys go, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Tell them to subscribe. Subscribe right here. Make She's sure telling you to subscribe. Button. So if you don't subscribe, do the like, do the subscribe. You're a hater. Okay, don't be shady. Be a lady. Subscribe. Thumbs up this video. Not for me, but for Ashley. Hi. And you guys, make sure you guys get your hands on this lip kit when it comes out. Super affordable for everybody. It's gonna look amazing on you. Tell your friends. Tell your sister. Tell tell your wife. Tell, tell your, your brother. Your cousin. Eh. Your baby daddy's cousin. Yes. Tell everybody. Everybody yes. needs this kit in their life. Yes. And this was so much fun. Thank and you so much for being on my channel. Thank you so much, Angel. I was going to say thank you for being here, but I'm like, thank you for having me because we're not like yeah. where I normally am. <laughs> but I'm really glad that we got to do this and hopefully we'll do it again. Yes, we will, definitely. Because there's more lip kits coming. Ooh, you heard it here first. Exclusive. Hey. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.